started. Uh, I've been born to a Christian home. I've been extremely blessed with my parents. And I've always been around uh, Christians. My parents have just really surrounded me with the right type of people, and I'm super thankful for that. And uh, in fourth grade, I got baptized. And I know when you get baptized, it really doesn't mean something to you at first when you're young. But uh, as I look back, it's like it really has started a new life for me. And uh, so from the day I was born till freshman year of high school, you know, like through your middle school years, you don't really think about, you know, like this is my own faith. Like my parents had a lot to do with it. And you don't really make your own decisions. So going to freshman year, um, the text. Um, so going into freshman year, I'm like, I'm like any other kid, you know, like you're trying to fit in, you're trying to find the right group of friends and you just want to be accepted. And I fell into the wrong place of that. And uh, freshman year, I started hanging out with the wrong crowd and I got involved in things I shouldn't be. And uh, God was really tugging on me uh, through that freshman, sophomore year for sure. And uh, he, uh, he taught me some things through this whitewater rafting trip I went on with my dad. And uh, my dad told me three things on this trip that he really wanted me to remember. He told me, he wants me to know that he loves me, I have what it takes, and he's proud of me. And I think he told me these things for my own validation to just, just know that I'm accepted by him. But I really think he wanted me to think that God's way is the way that he was trying to explain to me. And we have a loving God, and for sure, like, I know when you become Christian, like, you think, like, okay, there's a God up there, and, you know, he's judging me step by step, and I don't want to do anything to mess up, but, like, that's not the case. Like, he is a loving God, and he just wants to be a part of your life, and I definitely learned that through freshman year, and when you're accepted by God, like, there's no greater thing. Like, I know, like, you want to be accepted by your friends, and here and now, like, but it's all temporary. Like, everything in high school is temporary, and I can tell you, like, firsthand experience, like, when you're accepted by the man upstairs and you do things to try to please him, like, there's no better feeling. And uh, so sophomore year, you know, I, I was trying to carry that over, but the devil, you know, he tugs on you. Like, the devil is real and he can do things to get in your head. And uh, sophomore year, I got involved in a bad relationship. Um, I can tell you that uh, from being in a relationship without God to being in one that has God, it's, it's, it's day and night. I mean, it's like God made us to, to be with one another in community and without him like in the middle of that it's nothing and there's selfishness and I was involved in that relationship for about a year and a half and it broke up and thank God it did and that was <laughs> partly from God trying to teach me and I had to learn it the hard way for sure um, I know that like I didn't want to go through that but I think God put me in that position to tell others you know like a, lot, uh, a relationship without Christ is nothing and I mean, unfortunately, I had to go through the hard way. Um, so that takes me through my junior year. And I mean, this whole time, I'm trying to please God. I'm trying to do the things that will make him happy. But uh, I think there's just a part of you that's like high school, it, it changes your life. Like going from middle school to high school, there's people that, you know, will change your views on everything. And you don't realize it. That's the thing until you need to be like slapped in the face by God. Like, you know, like you're not doing the things that. I want you to be doing and uh, so I had to go down a different route and then I learned and uh, from junior year to senior year now like I've grown my faith in ways that I cannot explain to you um, I got involved in young life in freshman year but didn't really do much and then now I've really been involved since this summer through campaigners and uh, right around the time uh, I got to young life that's when I met Emma and I know like you don't want to talk about your girlfriend up here but she really has had a huge part my faith. I thank you for that, Emma. Um, you've had a big part of my life. And, uh, <laughs> so I got involved in campaigners, and I've been around a group of guys that I love learning about God with. And there's just there's a power uh, of a band of brothers that that like you can't really explain to someone unless you're actually in it. And uh, some of my best friends, Tyler Oswald and Chandler Kemp, like we did this Bible study together called Wild at Heart, and I know it's just a book, but my dad took us through this, and we learned a lot that uh, the power of community with the same beliefs is like, there's nothing like it, and uh, I learned that life is an adventure to live. Like, I know a lot of people, they don't want to live their life for God because they think, oh, it's just going to get boring, you know? Like, that's not, that's not it at all. Like, once you give your life to God, and you start, you know, just getting excited about life and what it has to offer you and embracing challenges that come across your way, 
God will give you the power and the wisdom. And uh, I learned that through the adventure to live. That was one of the chapters. And uh, that was really great. So moving into senior year, uh, things are definitely clear to me in my life. And uh, I can tell you that being on the other side of high school to being on this side, like once you get a breath of fresh air, you don't want to breathe anything else. And once you go to God, you don't want to go back. I know it's like, yeah, it sounds great. Like here, young life, yeah, like God's great, but I don't really want to do that. No, like if you actually really take the time, like I promise you won't look back. And uh, I've had to learn through ways I didn't want to, but um, I can tell you now that like God is a healing God. He's a powerful God. He's a great God. And my life is no way, shape, or form easier. I don't want you to think that. But uh, I have a feeling of joy and freedom through Christ that I can never get from any of my friends, family, anything. And uh, I've just really been blessed with the people that I've come across in my life. And uh, here I am today. So that's it. Woo!